Okay team, so this is going to be a real quick fire. I'm trying to get this done before a Zoom session. We are looking at solving simultaneous equations where one of the equations is a quadratic and one of them is a linear equation. So, I've got three that I'm going to do. The first step is, you can see that we've got y here and y here, which means that we can make the right hand sides equal to each other. So I'm going to do this. Then, I'm going to form a quadratic by pulling everything across to one side. So if I pull that 3x three across, three across, I get minus 8x. If I pull that minus 7 across, I get plus 8. Uh, and then it equals to 0. Now you can see that there's a common factor here. I can divide the whole, both sides by 2. Um, so I should get this. And now, at this point, I can hopefully factorize. Yes, and you can see that I can factorize this way. And so that x is going to be equal to 2. Now, that means that y must be equal to, I'm now going to substitute into this original equation here, because it's easier than the quadratic, 3 times 2 minus 7, so minus 1. So 2, x equals 2, y equals minus 1. Now let's move on to question 3d. Uh, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to say that uh, x uh, equals 4y plus 2. That's the first equation. And then I've got this one here. So what I'm now going to do is replace that x, which is 4x plus 2, in 4y plus 2, into that equation there. So we'll get 4y plus 2 times y equals 12. So I get 4y squared plus 2y equals 12. I bring everything across to make my quadratic equation. And I get that. I divide, um, oh, yeah, that's right. I divide by 2, so I should get 2y squared plus y minus 6 equals to 0. Now I can probably factorize this. Um, I think that's what I want to do for my factorization. Let me see. 2y squared, yes. 4y minus 3y. Yes, that's perfect. So therefore, I can have y equals 3 over 2 or minus 2. And then I substitute both this value and that value into this equation up here to find out what x is equal to. Now when I do that, I'm going to get 4 times 3 over 2, which is 12 over 2, which is 6. I'm going to get 8. Or, and then when I put uh, minus 2 in there, I get negative 8 plus 2 minus 6, I think. Let me just check that, minus 8 plus 2. Yes, okay, that's that. Now the final question, uh, question 5c. This looks rather tricksy. Hmm, what can we do here? Um, now, what would I do? I am going to go and take this one here and go 2y is equal to uh, 5x minus 23. This might not be the easiest way, but this is what I'm going to do. And therefore, y is equal to 5 over 2x minus 23 over 2. And I'm going to substitute this in, whoops, in to every y value, including that one there. Now, this is going to get quite horrific, I think. So I'm going to get x squared minus 5x times y, which is this, 5 over 2x minus 23 over 2, plus y squared, which is 5 over 2x minus 23 over 2, squared, equals to 1. Yuck, 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 yuck. Now, x squared minus, and this would be uh, 25 over 2, x squared. The next one will be plus. Now, 5... Uh, times 23 over 2 is 115 over 2. So 115 over 2x. Now this one here, I'm going to get 25 over 4x squared. Uh, now 5 over 2 times negative 23 over 2. And then I double that. I'm going to get minus 115 over 2x, and then plus, now I'm going to go 23 over 2 times 23 over 2, the negative times negative is positive, so I should get 
plus 5 to 9 over 4 equals to 1. 